three deadly shootings last night in Baton Rouge, included one that happened on an interstate. This is part of a startling trend of interstate shootings in the capital area. The investigative unit and Bess Casterly have been looking into exactly how many there have been recently and what police say about being safe. It's been a particularly active summer for interstate shootings in the capital area. In fact, in just the month of August, there have been five, six if you look at all of 2024. Within the Baton Rouge city limits, three of those shootings were fatal, including back in March when 19-year-old Jayrick Washington was shot on I-110 near the Fuqua exit in what Baton Rouge police call a potential case of mistaken identity. My brother was just trying to go to work and he did not see this coming to him at all. Fast forward to August and two more people were killed in interstate shootings. 22-year-old Antoine Bowie on I-10 near government on the 18th and just last night, 39-year-old Trené Walls on I-110 near Evangeline. This shooting from the 22nd on I-110 was non-fatal, but caused the driver to crash and shut down traffic. Also last night, a man claims he was shot at on I-12 near the Pumpkin Center exit in Tangibaho Parish. Baton Rouge police say they don't believe the public is in danger. At this particular time, we don't feel um, that uh, travelers that are passing on the interstate uh, will be inv involved or possibly injured, you know, during those type of incidents because what we know at this particular time, the shooters are specifically targeting individuals on the interstate. Not to say that uh, we won't have any type of a random incident that might occur. Though it was on the EBR Ascension Parish line, a man was caught in the crossfire in another shooting that happened on the 18th. Where it hit on my truck, I was probably about two feet away and I, you know, the thought kind of went through my mind after I thought about it last night was that I've been going just a few miles per hour slower, it probably would have hit me. So far, there's only been one arrest. 24-year-old Ty Quincy James faces murder charges for the shooting near the Government Street exit that killed Bowie. At this point in their investigation, BRPD believes each of these shootings was targeted and not a random attack. For the investigative unit, Best Casserly, WBRZ News 2.